In this video, we're going to be taking a look at trying to solve differential equations analytically. Now, we're only going to be really dealing with one specific type of differential equation, and it's something called a separable differential equation. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can solve a separable differential equation. So in this case, we have y prime equals 3x plus 2. So remember, a differential equation is an equation in terms of x and y and derivatives of y, which is what we have here. So before we can solve a separable differential equation, the, thir the first thing we need to do is uh, change the form. So we want to put this in the form where it says dy over dx uh, because we are going to have to separate our differentials when solving separable differential equations. So we're going to change the form of this to say dy over dx equals 3x plus 2. So in order to uh, solve a separable differential equation, we need to do something called separation of variables. So what we want is all of the y's together, including the differential, and then we want all of the x's together, including the differential. So to get the x's and y's together, well, this one's not too bad. It's all only re already in terms of x. So we have the x's over here. So I need to get this dx over here so I can just multiply both sides by dx. So by doing that, I'm going to get that dy is equal to the quantity 3x plus 2 times the differential of x. And now if I want to solve this, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate both sides. I'm going to take the integral of both sides. Now in doing so, uh, the antiderivative of dy is just y. So I'm going to now have something in terms of y. Uh, and then I'm going to take the antiderivative of each piece here. Now this is an indefinite integral. So the antiderivative of 3x is going to be 3x squared over 2. The antiderivative of 2 is going to be 2, uh, sorry, 2x. And then remember, we always need to include a constant of integration when you're doing an indefinite integral. Uh, and then the last step that you always need to do when solving a separable differential equation is you need to try and isolate y. You need to solve for y so that your equation says y equals. So this is already kind of set in that form. So in this, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at another example. So in this example, we have uh, y prime equals 2x over y. So now we have an equation in terms of x and y uh, here. So let's go ahead and rewrite this in our notation that we need. So dy over dx, right? Differential of y over differential of x equals 2x over y here. So now in order to do separation of variables, I'm going to multiply both sides by y and multiply both sides by dx to get the x's on the right and the y's on the left. So in doing so, I'm going to have y times dy equals the quantity 2x times dx. We can go ahead and take the antiderivative of this, integrate both sides, and what do we end up with? Well, on the left, I'm going to have this y squared over 2 equals uh, antiderivative of 2x is going to be x squared, right? It's going to be 2x squared over 2, but we're just going to get x squared. And when we're adding our constant of integration, we can always just add it to the, val the side that has the x on it. Um, if we ended up with a constant from the left side, we could just add it over, right? We could call this. Uh, plus c sub 1 and we could call this c sub 2 and then I could like subtract c sub 1 over and combine c sub 2 to be uh, the sum or difference of those two. So really we're just going to put the c with our x here. Um, and now we need to try and isolate y. So we have a y squared over 2 so I need to get y by itself. So first thing I'm going to do is multiply everything by 2. So I'm going to have y squared equals 2x squared and I don't need to write 2c because 2 times a constant is still a constant. I can just call this uh, c again. If you want to signify that this is like c sub 1 and this is a new c, c sub 2, you could do that. But to, to me, it doesn't really matter. It all is going to ultimately end up being c in the end anyway. Um, so I'm just going to call it c. Uh, to get y by itself, we're going to take the square root of both sides. And from this, we get that y is equal to plus or minus the square root of, sorry, the square root of 2x squared plus some constant. And the uh, when you're trying to solve this, right, this is actually two separate 
uh, solution curves. There's the positive solution curve and then there's the negative solution curve. Generally, when you are solving these kinds of questions, you might be give, given some other piece of information like something, oh, y of zero equals seven. This is an initial condition. Uh, and then you would plug in the initial condition to figure out what the value of C would be and also to determine which, whether you're using the positive or negative portion of this. Um, so initial conditions kind of help you uh, become, go from what we have here as a general solution into a particular solution. So this is our general uh, solution to this differential equation. And we can find a particular solution if we are given some kind of initial condition. Let's look at one more example. So in this, we wanna solve the differential equation y prime equals four x times the quantity two plus y. So first we want to rewrite this again in terms of uh, the differentials here. All right, now we have to do our separation of variables. This time I'm gonna multiply by dx, but I have to divide by this two plus y here because I need to move it over and I can't just subtract it um, because I need the x's and the y's separate on either side. So I have to divide by this two plus y and I have to then multiply by dx here. So in doing so, I have dy over two plus y equals four x times the differential of x. So now we can go ahead and integrate. So if I integrate the left side and I integrate the right side, what do I end up with? So on the right side, I'm going to get, uh, I think the right side's a little easier to integrate. So it's gonna be four x squared over two. So that's gonna be two x squared uh, plus our constant of integration. Let me move this down just a little bit. And then on the left side, we probably have to do a little bit of substitution in here. So I'm gonna actually make this be u. So I'm gonna say u equals two plus y. Um, take the differential of both sides. We get that two, uh, sorry, du is going to equal derivative of two is zero, derivative of y is just dy. So we get this. Uh, so I have now du over u, sorry. And I wanna take the antiderivative of this. And this is gonna just end up being the natural log of u, right? Natural log of the absolute value of u, natural log of absolute value of u. But u we knew was just two plus y. So this is equal to two x squared plus c. Now, if you recall, I said the last thing that we always wanna make sure we do is solve for y. So I'm gonna bring this down here because that's what we use this for. So we need to try and solve this for y. So the way that we're going to solve this for y is we're going to raise uh, both sides uh, to e to the power of both sides. So we're gonna, or we could just think about changing this from log form into exponential. So I'm gonna kind of move this up over here. So if I, take uh, e to the power of both sides, what do I end up with? Well, e to the natural log of two plus y is gonna be two plus y. And then I'm gonna have e to this. Uh, so two plus y is gonna equal e to the two x squared plus c. Now, if you remember, when you have a sum in your exponents, how do you get a sum in your exponents? Well, that happens when you multiply powers with the same base. So this is actually end up uh, equal to two e to the two x squared times e to the c, right? If I were to multiply two powers with the same base like this, then I would just be adding the exponents here. Now e to the c, e is a constant, c is a constant. So this ends up just being a constant. So from this, I get that two plus y is equal to um, e to the two x squared times some constant c. And if I wanna get y by itself, I can subtract two and I'm gonna bring C to the front, so it's gonna be C times E to the two X squared, and then all of this minus two. So this would be my general solution to this separable differential equation.